Good morning guys. Happy Sunday to all of our sunshiny faces. I have got a small sort of Walmart haul for you guys. Um, a couple couponing deals we ended up doing I also wanted to share with you guys um, that came. It was separate from the grocery budget. Um, we ended up getting a couple of Christmas things but I thought I'd share with you guys that um, that came out of the Christmas budget I guess. And we also ended up um, at Jewel. Um, they had a lot of sales sort of Black Friday sales too. They didn't have a lot. They had just like a one page ad um but like i said they did wind up actually having some pretty good um deals for that and then also too um we ended up at aldi so um kind of for the most part everything ended up working there was at least one thing i think that didn't end up totally working out so i'll share with you guys that when i get to that part of the haul but everything for the most part overall kind of ended up working out i still sort of salvaged one of the things that didn't completely work out um and they pretty much had everything jewel didn't have one of the deals that i was going to do at least i couldn't find it they said they had them in stock but i like i said i couldn't figure out where they were so when I do get to that, I will share with that with you guys. Um, but anyways, I will, like I said, share with you guys what we did wind up doing at the stores today. So to start off with, this was everything we ended up getting from Walmart, um, sort of here. Um, and this was the Christmas stuff. This was the grocery stuff. So what we ended up picking up, we ended up... Um, paying $21.61 for sort of these items up here and then we ended up paying uh, $16.84 for these Christmas items over here so like I said that grocery budget was sort of broken between the two um, and then we ended up also um, for again the grocery related things we ended up getting back $11.88 and so my net cost for those items was just $9.73 however I did wind up picking up one item that we just needed I normally wind up using the kids mouthwash I normally don't like the um like mint mouthwash adults kind so I just use the kids kind um so I did need to pick that up though um which we bought just like the equate you know store brand um and that wasn't actually like almost 350 so if I had excluded that just for like the couponing I bought an offer deals I ended up doing the net cost was just six dollars and 23 cents for that which was basically what two of the latest potato chips would have cost it's like I got everything else pretty much for free which is pretty cool so let me real quick go over everything that we ended up picking up first with the Christmas stuff they had these sort of as part of their like black friday sales that were going on um these like wax scentsy sort of things um they had them on sale for a dollar so i picked up a couple different kinds for my mom that i thought that she kind of like um but for a buck i thought these were pretty good um, and then also too, um, they have gift wrap, um, or get, like tissue that was 98 cents. We picked up two of these. Um, and then also too, the, um, like gift tags. Those were also 98 cents. We picked up three of these. It was pretty much cheaper than anywhere else I could find for a hundred. So we've actually picked up three of these. So we have, um, th 300 for them for the gift tags. And then we also got a 25 count, um, bows, which were 98 cents. And then also too, my dad is always needing gift boxes. A lot of times we will if they're salvageable we'll just reuse them every year but again sometimes they wind up sort of getting broken <laughs> so um you know or ripped or whatever so we did wind up picking up two packs at three dollars 98 cents and it has a variety of sizes uh 10 count boxes so um that's pretty a, a pretty decent price for that so like i said that was all of the christmas stuff and that was what cost 16.84 um and then with the like um grocery sort of things we ended up picking up like i was saying the equate kids um I like the watermelon flavor of the um rinse um that is three dollars and uh 47 cents so like I said I picked that up that wasn't grocery so I mean that was grocery budget related but it wasn't part of any deal I, we just needed it and then with the other couple deals that they had going on we ended up picking up the Bic Soleil razors those were four dollars and 92 cents and you get three dollars back from Ibotta so it's 192 I told you guys personal care anything under two bucks is what I'll pay um so that's a really good deal and then also too they have the trident gum was a dollar and 38 cents i picked up two and then you get a dollar and 38 cents back from ibotta so it's like a buy one get one free when you buy two of them so it's only 138 for two or you know under 75 cents each um and then also to the evolve plant-based protein shake that was two dollars and 78 cents we picked up one of those you get two dollars 78 cents for back from ibotta it's completely free which is really awesome um and then also to the lipton brisk iced tea um i really like brisk tea um but that is a dollar and 18 cents and you get 60 cents back so it is um 
like 58 cents or something like that it's just about like a 50 percent off um like rebate and then also to the um gatorade now this was sort of weird um the gatorade fit i don't know if it was just this variety or what um but they only have one left of this kind on the shelf it was supposed to be like a dollar and something cents but you get 80 or 68 cents back from my bodice so it was supposed to be to make it like 50 percent off um when you bought one of them however this rang up at 50 cents i don't know like i said if it was like clearance or what it was i did wind up getting the um rebate back for it as well so i actually made 18 cents on buying that which was really cool um and then the lays um wavy potato chips they had their chips sort of marked down um the lays potato chips the like normal sort of size bags not the family or party size but the normal size ones were marked down um i think they're normally like 348 but they're marked down for three dollars like on rollback right now i think because the holidays so when you buy two, you end up getting $3.48 back from um, Ibotta because it's figuring the retail price at Walmart. But since they're on rollback, you still get that full amount back, but you buy two for six bucks and then you get $3.48 back. Those work out to be $2.52 for two or $1.29 or 26 cents each, which I think is really awesome because that's cheaper than even to the store brand of Walmart's even in like the largest size. Like, so if you work it out to be per ounce, it's cheaper and also too, it's cheaper than like getting all these. I think all these chips right now are two bucks. Um, so with that rebate and everything like that, you work out to actually get the Lay's potato chips cheaper than any other grocery store's like sale price on um, potato chips, which is really awesome. So that's what we ended up doing at Walmart. Like I said, you know, net cost excluding even, you know, just for the, the couple, like I said, actual sale items that I ended up doing um, with the Ibotta rebates was only, you know, under 650 for those, which is awesome. So, um, you know, and under 10 bucks really in total for those items. In, in general is really good. So um, let me share with you guys what we ended up doing at Jewel. So over here, this was everything we ended up picking up from Jewel, everything right here. Um, this would have been $128.35. We paid $54.71 and saved $73.84. And then we got back $8.75. So made that made my net cost $45.96, which is a really awesome price for these things. Um, so the one deal that did not end up working out exactly like I had planned was this alkaline water. It was on sale for $1.50 and you wind up getting that off with the Just For You coupon. It makes it free. Coupon actually expires like at the end of today, but it was still available in my account. So I went, picked it up. <laughs> coupon didn't come off. I've been looking for this, I think I told you guys, for three weeks now. I finally ended up finding them. They were actually all hidden behind another brand of water. So, like I said, I found it, went up to the register, <laughs> paid for it. The coupon didn't end up coming off, so it was supposed to make it free. However, I bought it, did have a rebate that was available for 75 cents off when you bought one, so I actually did wind up getting that back, so that only made it 75 cents, which again, I wouldn't have picked up if I wasn't getting it for free because it's just a bottle of water. 75 cents still isn't even really that great. But um, like I said, I still salvaged it to where I wasn't paying the dollar fifty, I guess, for it. So again, not too bad. Um, and then also too, they did have the Pepsi um, soda shop, um, like almost like like ice cream in you know like cola sort of, um, like that's the flavors I guess sort of. Um, but they were supposed to be on sale for ninety nine cents, and then if you bought three, um, you can use a dollar off three just for you coupons. So you pay one ninety seven, and then you get fifty cents back for my bottle, which is a limit of five, and that's on each one. So you can redeem that three times since you buy three making a dollar fifty you get back so your net cost is only 47 cents for three of them or 16 cents each i think that's really awesome however i couldn't find them at the store anywhere um i checked like at the checkouts i checked in the actual pop aisle like i said i was checking all around i couldn't find them anywhere so like i said i don't know and then i even pulled up like in the app they'll tell you a lot of times what step the aisle you know the, of the product is in and it said ask associate so again i normally that sort of means like it's on an end cap somewhere or like in the um like i was saying like the checkout lane something like that I couldn't find them anywhere where I was looking. So sometimes too with the newer products, because I do know these are newer, they don't always put them out um, like, you know, right away. So that could also be the case. Like I said, I don't know, but I couldn't find them. I was kind of frustrated about that because I thought 16 cents, that's a really great deal. And that's for like the 20 ounce, um, the um, like bottles. So 
anyways, like I said, we didn't end up doing that. Um, but we did wind up picking up the Saturday sampler, which I told you guys you can clip that on Saturday um, and redeem it up until I think Monday or something like that. Um, but that was on the Signature Select um, olives. So I picked up one can of that, was completely free. It's normally $1.99, um, but I didn't pay that. Like I said, with the coupon, I got it off. So I just paid nothing. Um, and then they also had two, the Nestle, um, like Toll House morsels. So I got some semi-sweets, milk chocolates, and then also the white um, chocolates. Those are um, on sale with a Just For You coupon for $1.99. It's a limit of four, so I went ahead and picked up four of them. But the Just For You price point coupons, it's $1.99. Those are like store coupons, so that's why they stack with like those dollar off manufacturer coupons, which was also available for the Nestle Toll House morsels. So there was a dollar off too. So I was able to do that as well, and so instead of paying $1.99 for each of them, I ended up paying $1.74, which for actual Nestle brand is really good. I think all these price and Walmart's, I was looking, Walmart's is like $2.16 for their store brand. I think all these is probably around the same price, maybe $1.99. So getting name brand for even a little cheaper than that, I thought was awesome. Um, and then also too, we ended up picking up these, probably go in Matthew and Jack's stocking because I know that they like them. We ended up picking up like the um, gummy, gummy worms. Um, those are... Um, on sale for a dollar and 79 cents and then when you buy two you get 50 cent off of two a just for you coupon so you end up paying 308 for two of them and then you get 25 cents back for my bottle which again is the limit of five so since you buy two you can redeem that twice getting 50 cents back making them 258 for two or a dollar 29 each not the best price but like i was saying candy sort of things like that sometimes i don't mind just picking those up especially if close to holidays because then they just get you know like i said thrown in some stocking so we ended up doing that we also picked up the um the seven up um zero sugar that's the kind my mom likes those are on sale for 99 cents we ended up picking up four of them um that is with the store just for you coupon so they also had a dollar off of three um manufacturer coupons so we ended up paying um you know like around three bucks you know that's 2.90 six for those um and then end up getting you know like i was saying with the dollar off so those only end up working out to be 74 cents each which again is really awesome for two liters um we also ended up picking up these aurora bora um sparkling waters these are on sale for a dollar 99 you wind up getting um a dollar off of two um just for you coupons so you paid two dollars two dollars and 98 cents and you get a dollar and 50 cents back when you buy two for my bottom making it a dollar and 48 cents for two or 75 cents each so again pick those up they also ended up having the um home run single serve pizzas this is my absolute favorite brand of pizza guys so i was in love with this sale <laughs> i definitely went ahead and picked these up um they are on sale for 1.99 with the um just for you store coupon um like i said a lot of the stuff was all uh, you know uh, like with the just for you store coupons so we ended up paying nine dollars 95 cents for those but again I absolutely love this brand of pizza. So we a lot of times get those other little single serve pizzas at like Meyer for like around a dollar. So these ones are a little bit more, but like I said, those are my personal favorites. So I was happy to pick those up. Um, and then also too, I was telling you guys, Menards also had a sale on batteries that was I think for the 30 count, but they didn't have any more of the double A's left. So um, Jewel had the 24 pack, um, on uh, they had double A's on sale for um, $5 and it, Menards it was like worked out to be around five bucks or something like that after a mail and rebate um and like I said it was somewhere really close to that price but it was for a little bit larger count however um like I said they were out of the double A's so I just went ahead and picked those up at Jewel that was also again part of that whole like advertised sort of Black Friday sales um, and then also we ended up picking up all of the different pork tenderloins for a $1.99 per pound with just for you coupon. So we ended up picking up all of these. So as you guys can see there, like these ones all were retailed around about five or, um, around an $8. Um, but then with the, um, just for you coupon, again, it's come, they come up at one, uh, $3.99, but then with the coupon, it takes it down to $1.99 per pound. For those we ended up paying, I think this one would have been $207. Um, this 
this one and the one at the top were uh, two dollars and forty three cents and then this one was two dollars forty one cents um, so like I said they were all a little in varying prices but they're a little bit over a pound each I like to do pork tenderloins with like cranberry sauce like you can do it like that um, so I think I'm gonna split these up and maybe do three bags in total or something like that of them um, since they are a little bit sort of on the smaller side so I'll probably cut them up not like pork chops but just sort of you know close to pork chops but um, like I said I think that's what I'm gonna wind up doing with these and then you just add like um, the cranberry like sauce like the canned cranberry to it and then it's pretty much just sort of a meal that way so um, like I said we ended up picking up all of those those were a limit of four and then we also ended up picking up two with a just for you coupon the wonderful pistachios the one pound bag was $2.99 that's a pretty good price for pistachios and then also too they had the four pound bag of the signature select navel oranges for a dollar 99 which is a really good price that's about 50 cents per pound and also too the icy hot I told you guys I ended up doing this deal um, at Meyer, which with their sale ended up working out to be like 14 cents I think or something like that this was still a really great price for these and again too like I was telling you guys we use this stuff a lot um, like different types of like like muscle pain reliever cream sort of like icy hot so um, these were $3.99 normal price but you get three dollars back for my bada um, which is a limit of two so I ended up buying two got um, you know paid about eight bucks um, ended up getting six dollars back so they were only 99 cents each which is still really awesome um, like I said obviously the Meyer deal making them only 14 cents was awesome but the rebate reset so I did like I said the deal at Meyer on Friday or whatever but then the rebate reset so I was able to do it again and jewel so like I said I'll go ahead and pick these up because for a buck that's better than getting any other brand anywhere so again since we do use them I'll go ahead and like I said get them just do it with the rebate and everything which works out to be awesome so like I said all really good deals that was everything we ended up picking up at jewel and lastly this was what we ended up picking up at Aldi we only ended up spending $16.03 so like I was telling you guys I think yesterday's vlog I was picking up that chicken breast from Tony's it was 99 cents a pound I ended up getting about five and a half pounds I think so I'm thinking that the, I, I didn't open it up yet but it looked like there was at least four or so chicken breasts in there I think maybe five chicken breasts um, or possibly six somewhere around there but what I wanted to do was make um, the since the stuffing mix at Aldi right now is you know part of their um, like rewind Thanksgiving rewind sort of thing they're bringing back all the prices of what they were pretty much last year stuffing mix was 75 cents so I was like hey you know what I'm gonna do pick up the stuffing mix so I can make um I can leave it in the pantry and then use it when I'm going to make that chicken like stuffing casserole um because again I got the chicken breast for 99 cents these are 75 cents all I need is one can of the um cream of mushroom and one can of cream of chicken and then you end up adding um frozen mixed vegetables and also um like a, a a cup of milk I think it is and that's pretty much the whole casserole so I was able to do that super super cheap like four or so dollars each I think probably maybe even less than that pretty much is what it will wind up working out to be for the um that those casseroles um so like I said I picked up four of those um, of the chicken kind, the stuffing mix, those were set, like I said, 75 cents. Um, and then also to the cream of chicken um, and cream of mushroom, those were also 49 cents as part of the Thanksgiving Rewind. So like I said, I picked up five of each of those. And I also ended up picking up one of the turkey stuffing mix, again, also 75 cents. But the reason I ended up doing that was because we do have a, some leftover turkey. So I'm thinking for dinner tomorrow, because we do still have turkey noodle soup in the refrigerator, um, that'll probably go for dinner again tonight. But for tomorrow, I'm thinking of making uh, the um like chicken casserole stuffing casserole but with turkey since we have leftover turkey so what i needed was a thing of the turkey stuffing um the mixed vegetables and then the cream of mushroom a can like i said can of cream of mushroom cream a can of cream of chicken and then a cup of milk and that's like i said pretty much the recipe um and since like i said we have leftover turkey i'm definitely going to go ahead and do that the reason i didn't pick up the whole thing of mixed vegetables is because my chicken is raw the turkey's already cooked i can just throw all the stuff in there at the same time i normally when i do the chicken kind the frozen when I you know, like pre-freeze it and everything like that because the chicken isn't already cooked I will put um, it in the crock pot and just make the whole thing in the crock pot which you can do pretty much the exact same way as um, like I said if we were doing it in the oven but I think I'm gonna make the turkey kind in the oven when I do it tomorrow just because it'll be easier just because the turkey is already pre-cooked so when I cook the the chicken like I said I'll just when I freeze it I'm just gonna freeze it with one thing of cream of chicken one thing of cream of mushroom soup and then add the chicken freeze it leave the stuffing in the freezer 
or in the pantry and then I will add the um, mixed vegetables later on into the cooking process so I don't have these yet because I don't have room for them and because they don't have to go in the bags when I freeze it because um, like I said I'll just add it later to the recipe so anyways that's my whole long long thing about all the difference those things but that is so like I said I can freeze and make those um, the chicken stuffing mix casserole and then I can do the turkey one that I'll make tomorrow so um the mixed vegetables though those were on sale for um i think also part of the rewind um along with you know like i was saying the stuffing and the both the cream of mushroom and tur chicken um those were 84 cents so i picked up one of those they also had I'm telling you guys i absolutely love these um like the the socks these little like slipper sock things that asked for more for christmas we got two at menards for 2.99 these at aldi were on clearance for 99 cents so i went ahead and picked up another two because i really like i said i don't care <laughs> we'll go ahead and use these um and like i said just put them aside i let my mom and dad give them to me for christmas but 99 cents i thought that was awesome um so then the um red grape those were part of the produce picks they were 99 cents a pound we picked up um two pounds so 98 cents um, I think also too I can submit this rebate for um, you get 35 cents back on any of the California um, grapes um, so I can get that back also too making it a little bit cheaper for my bada um, and then white bread we picked that up that was uh, 95 cents and bananas too just at regular prices were 58 cents we picked up a little under two and a half pounds at a dollar 37 so that was everything from Aldi like I said we didn't get much and most of the stuff that we did wind up getting was all part of the like lower sales or sort of again cheap staple <laughs> staple items too that were all under a dollar so anyways um like i was saying those were all of our little sales from aldi so um like i said that was all the stuff still found some um sort of black friday clearance holiday stuff at some of the stores too like i said some of the stuff is going away for christmas gifts and things like that too um but either way like i said all the stuff we ended up picking up was really good deals and also too guys we were with everything we ended up getting net cost we were definitely under budget for this week when i ended up adding everything up like because it was under 50 bucks at aldi 16 at or i'm sorry 16 at all the under 50 bucks at jewel 10 bucks or whatever at walmart um it was like i think under 70 for sure at um meyer and then i think uh it was under 25 between Caputo's and Tony's yesterday. So like I said, I have to add all that up and I'm pretty sure that all is under 200 bucks, which is our grocery budget. So that's really awesome. Um, and also too, I can cash out with my Ibotta offers um, too, cause I got cash in there. So um, that's awesome. And um, also too, one other thing was I was telling you guys yesterday how with Meyer um, that rebate that I was doing where you um, redeem 15 unique rebates and you get a $5 back for like the weekend bonus um i ended up doing 14 at meyer so between walmart's and all the or i'm sorry walmart and jewel and all the possibly two with the grapes um that works out to be you know i i earned that already so between all the stores like i said i ended up earning five dollar bonus as well um because again i ended up doing several at jewel and walmart i probably could have done almost another 15 between the, the three stores I went to today. So I was one shy of getting that at Meyer, but again, with the stuff I ended up doing today, I already earned that. So that's awesome. Um, like I was saying, they're all really good deals, guys. I'm happy too. I stocked up in meat this week. Like we got a lot of really good stuff. So anyways, uh, the football game is on and I don't want to miss it. So I'm going to go get this stuff put away real quick and then go and watch some football. Well guys, I'm going to take a shower now and get to bed. I ended up getting to a handful of things today as well, sort of in the afternoon project sort of things um also in addition to being able to watch the bears game today um but we overall this weekend ended up actually i feel like getting a lot of stuff done but it's weird because i'm like oh this weekend seems like it was so long it was because like really we have to be counting since thursday and then friday and then today and or yesterday and so um like i said it's just been a long sort of weekend i guess but um you know we put up the christmas tree already we've been moving on projects and things like that too over this weekend and just sort of getting those things done because again we had such a long time to be able to sort of get to those things so but also to getting a grocery shopping done again since you know Friday and you know doing all of our different store deals and everything and um, also just getting some like Christmas stuff already from some of those grocery stores um, you know like I was sharing with you guys today and then also especially at Meijer as well um, like I said really good deals there but um, um, you know, as I was saying, just 
overall I feel like really good shopping this week um so either way though guys I am like I said finally going to get to bed because I've been going to bed super late this week um but I've been waking up every day I think I woke up before nine o'clock so and I have not been going to bed any earlier than um probably one or two in the morning so um I don't think that there's a night that I've gotten I don't honestly think I've even gotten seven hours of sleep um any of the nights so like in the last like is it probably since like Tuesday night I don't think that I've gotten more than seven hours of sleep so it's safe to say I'm exhausted and I need to get to bed because it's still early and like I said I am super super tired so Anyways, guys, um, I have to get to, again, also to just some other sort of housekeeping things and sort of start to get back on track tomorrow because, again, with the holidays, this whole week and weekend sort of has been <laughs> kind of a complete scratch. Um, so, again, I really haven't ended up doing anything. Um, but especially as far as editing and uploading goes, I did wind up getting to a lot of laundry, but it was mainly Matthew stuff that he ended up coming home with and also um, dishes too. So I ended up getting that done. Um, we stayed very much on top of that. Actually, all of the dishes, everything that we use is completely, we're done, we're caught up with. Everything is clean that is in the dishwasher and we have a small little stack of dishes, really more from just dinner tonight. So that was just leftover turkey noodle soup. Um, that was sort of all that we had as far as dishes just goes so um like I said we were like caught up with all of that and everything in the kitchen is like cleaned up it's literally back to how it was before Thanksgiving which honestly like after a holiday like Christmas or Thanksgiving 4th of July like um New Year's Halloween sometimes even too um but mainly the holidays where we do a lot of cooking and baking we will sing and be behind with dishes and just to just in general like the kitchen will be a mess for like a week afterwards <laughs> like and it takes us forever to get like sort of caught back up and reorganized and cleaned up and sort of like all those things i'm surprised at how clean the kitchen is right now just like there's not like clutter there's not things sitting out like everything for the most part is put away like like last year I, it took us again several days before we finally ended up putting the roaster from the turkey away for thanksgiving like i remember that um so like that kind of stuff like it just takes us a while to like get things just like sort of put away and re like I said organized and you know all that kind of stuff but again we're pretty much on it this year which is awesome hopefully we can keep that up too you know with Christmas and Christmas Eve this year as well but anyways guys I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny pieces tomorrow so bye guys